has to be Wednesday. It does have to be Wednesday. And you're here for Mr. Eric Reads and... Mr. Barrett Reads. And Mr. Barrett Reads for this Wednesday night edition. And we've got a good story for you. It's by Nick Butterworth. And it's called Q Poodle 5. So, without further ado, we're going to dive right in. Because this is a new book that Barrett and I have never read before. And it looks like it's going to start off with some action. Scream! <laughs> Boy, this Q Poto 5 just jumped right in. I didn't even get to go Mr. Eric Reads. Wink. Q Poodle 5 has landed. He has come to Earth. But Earth is not where Q Poodle 5 wants to be. He is on his way to the moon for a party for his friend Z Poodle 6. But something has gone wrong. Q Poodle 5 has a problem with his spaceship. One of the rocket boosters won't boost. The spaceship won't fly. Q Poodle looks carefully at the rocket booster. Um, he says. He thinks he knows what's wrong with it. It's just as I thought, he says. It's broken. The spaceship needs a new rocket booster, but where on earth can he find one? Ah, here comes an earthling. Perhaps he knows. He looks friendly and he is a nice color. He's green. Can you please help? Q Poodle 5 asks. I need a new rocket booster. The earthling can't help. No, he doesn't even know what a rocket booster is. Ugh, never mind. Oh, here come some more Earthlings. Perhaps they can help. Excuse me, says Q Poodle 5. Do you know where I can find a new rocket booster? The Earthlings think very hard. <sighs> Oi, no, says the first one. Sorry, we don't use rocket boosters. Yeah, that's right. We don't use rocket boosters, says the second one. Oh, we're birds, says the third Earthling. Oh, dear, says Q Poodle 5. I am going to be late for the party. But here comes another Earthling. And look, the Earthling is carrying a rocket booster. What luck? Uh, please, says Q Poodle 5, can you help me? He tells the Earthling about his spaceship and how it won't fly without a new rocket booster. Uh, yeah, man, you can have this one as soon as I finish my dinner. The Earthling is called Henry. He is pleased to help. As soon as Henry has finished his dinner, Q Poodle 5 fixes his new space rocket booster and puts it onto his spaceship. Q Poodle 5 climbs into his spaceship. He presses the starter button and... Nothing happens. Oh, be bother, Boodles, he says. I'm going to be late and Z Poodle 6 will be upset.
Henry looks carefully at the spaceship. Hey, uh, look, I'm not very clever with rockets, he says, but uh, I think I can see the problem. Henry knows why the spaceship won't fly. Can you pass me that spoon, he asks. There's a bit of my dinner stuck in your rocket boosters. Now the rocket booster is clear. Q Poodle 5 presses the starter button. There's a rumbling and then bang! Followed by a funny smell that smells a little bit like Henry's dinner, only this time it's cooked. Q Poodle 5 pushes the starter button again. Hooray! The spaceship whooshes up into the air. Q Poodle 5 waves goodbye to Henry and the birds and the green earthling, and they wave back. Goodbye, Q Poodle 5. You enjoy your moon party. Then suddenly, just as suddenly as it came, the spaceship is gone. and Q Poodle made it to the moon party. He looks so happy together. The end. Nick Butterworth's Q Poodle 5. Here on Mr. Eric. And Mr. Bentley's. Guys, have a great rest of your night. Please wash your hands, stay safe, and practice kindness in everything you do. Right, Bear? Yep. All right, have a good night, guys.